play to potential extra Amy, you also talk about uh, psychological safety in a variety of settings. You know, one end of the spectrum, we have high volume repetitive work, mm. like in an assembly plant, a fast food restaurant, kidney dialysis center, and so on, mm. where we need to watch out for a lapse in quality or attention. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, creative pursuits, right? Google X, Pixar, and mm-hmm. the like. Uh, when I say creative, I mean innovative or creative yes. pursuits. Uh, what are the nuances in driving psychological safety in these uh, different types of situations such an important question uh, and and nuance is the right word because fundamentally psychological safety matters across the spectrum whether you're doing a high volume or or recurring work or whether you're doing one off crazy innovative projects um but it matters in different ways and and i guess the simplest way to put it is that in in relatively routine work the reason it matters is for continuous improvement and for catching and correcting small deviations you know small errors that slip in because because we're tired or 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 maybe someone isn't yet up to speed on their training and and so if you want to make you know a perfect automobile for example everybody's got to be paying exquisite attention uh to the work and and so if they if someone sees something that's not quite right or if someone needs help to execute their task if there isn't psychological safety neither one of those two things will happen right they're not going to speak up about a possible imper- imperfection or error they're not going to ask for help when they're in over their head and the quality will suffer so you need psychological safety for the routine tasks of continuous improvement and of beautiful execution to spec whereas on the other end of the spectrum let's say google x or a scientific laboratory you need psychological safety to be willing to take big bets to be willing to do things that might not work out as planned and in the middle and i'll describe the middle as the reasonably well understood activities that you might do in a supply chain or in a in a in mm. a hospital emergency room that are still subject to some uncertainty and some customization so that that it's a sort of a nice combination of routine and judgment that that's required and there psychological safety plays a crucial role and people's willingness to to speak up when they think that's the wrong judgment or or wait a minute maybe we should try this and you know to sort of um intervene in a way that prevents the work from falling into the routine when it's not really fully routine or in a way that allows people to discover a better process so i guess the main point here is that psychological safety always matters but and the research has shown this it matters more when there's higher uncertainty so when mm-hmm. there's higher uncertainty the performance difference from having psychological safety versus not having it is greater than when the work is more certain and more routine <laughs>